In this lesson, we're going to do some implicit differentiation. Check this out. We have y squared here. We have a y here. Y isn't solved for explicitly, but we're still going to find dy dx. We're going to be able to figure out an equation for the slope of this curve here. So to do this, we're going to differentiate implicitly. That means we differentiate both sides with respect to x. So I differentiate both sides with respect to x. What happens here? Oh, I just get 2x. But notice we have 2xy. We're going to have to apply product rule. So consider I can, this 2x, I can think of that as f. My y is g. I'm just going to apply f times g prime plus g times f prime. So it'll be 2x. g prime, everyone, derivative y with respect to x is dy dx plus y times f prime, which is just 2. And differentiate this with respect to x. Oh, it's got this y variable. So I do get 6y, and I'm applying that chain rule to dy dx. What's happening, though, in implicit differentiation, you can keep it simple. Every time I take the derivative of some expression involves a y variable, I'm just putting dy dx next to it. All right? It's because of chain rule, but that's really what I'm doing. Notice it occurred here when I was applying product rule and it occurred over here on this side. All right, now what do I have to do? I simply just have to solve for dy dx. So I'm going to collect all my dy dx terms on one side. This is over here. I see this. So how about I subtract this from both sides? I'm going to subtract this expression from both sides of the equation. This stays here. I get minus 2x dy dx. And on this side, I just have 2x plus y times 2 over 1. That's 2y. And, wow, I got two of these. How do I get 1 dy dx? I can factor it out. Yeah, just factor out dy dx. I have 6y minus 2x equals 2x plus 2y. And I'm now going to divide 6y minus 2x from both sides. And I've solved for dy dx. 2x plus 2y all over 6y minus 2x. Now everyone, if you want to simplify this expression right here, we have 2, 2, 6, and 2. We can factor out a 2 from both expressions and cancel them. We'll be left with x plus y all over 3y minus x. So dy dx is x plus y over 3y minus x. Oh, and we can evaluate the slope at a point. So let's evaluate the slope of this curve at the point 1 comma 1. 1 plus 1 would give me 2. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. And the slope at 1 comma 1 is 1. We're done.